Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here. Uh, today we are looking at this Leo James uh, SG copy. Uh, I've already cut the tape uh, mainly so we could verify which guitar was in this box because we have more than one Leo James guitar and uh, didn't want to didn't want to open it and well you've seen those uh, those episodes before so we're trying to kind of save time well uh Actually, we have two others, and I forgot about the the third one. But uh, since this is not a tobacco sunburst guitar, uh, or at least it doesn't appear to be. Okay, there's a tiny bit of case candy accord and an Allen wrench, and uh, emulating uh, Fender and some other uh, manufacturers. Now. Uh, Leo James is giving you a little uh, thing for online music lessons. And, uh, and uh, you know, when they start coming to your house, I'll be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably ask you if you speak some uh, Asian language when they got there, so. What kind of ang Asian language, Dan? Well, there are several. I bet you they are. Someone took offense to my stand. What kind of Korea do they? Does it? Is it Dan? Uh, somebody from Korea. I apologize if I offend anybody, but I'm just offensive. So deal with it. And well, otherwise, your mama. Well, I think what they were alluding to is that despite the fact there's North and South Korea, there's only one Korean. <laughs> Not one Korean person, but one Korean language. No, there's only one Korean. Although, you know, even in, you know, the United States, even in places that speak English, there are different regional uh, dialects. You know. But I don't know enough about Korean to... <laughs> To know what they would sound like. So. I have liked some uh, Korean uh, shows on Netflix uh, recently. There was one called uh, Excellent Attorney Wu that I really enjoyed. But I'm a fan of legal uh, legal dramas anyway. So. You are suits? Yep. Yeah, I love suits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's one that started before Suits that I've never watched that's supposed to be pretty good called White Collar. It's also on Netflix. Now we're, do now we're doing TV ads. <laughs> Here you go, Patrick. Yeah, I'm going to toss that at your face. Oh, man. Here. Okay, well, it is certainly an SG looking guitar. Uh, Two tones, two volumes, hardtail bridge, black uh, pick guard, uh, pretty close to uh, you know the original SG uh, kind of dark red color. Two humbucking pickups, the block inlays on the neck. Uh, says Leo James at the top, and uh, says. Uh, it's the double cut standard, which of course refers to that. Um, not seeing any defects in the finish. Uh, don't see any on the back. I don't see any scuffs. I don't see any scratches. Which I wasn't aware that it was transparent. It's a trans red finish. Oh. I thought it was just a Solid opaque. Uh, Bolt on neck. Yep. Uh, 
no-name tuners, but they uh, they emulate the Gibson tuners, you know, in appearance pretty well. Uh, the plug that I don't particularly like, but uh, well, although I must say, like on my Sire, the Sire has a plug like this, and since I'm using that little uh, Fender Mustang Micro. It actually makes it more convenient for it to be on the top because I can I can look at all the settings. If it were down here, I'd have to be you know flipping the guitar up all the time. So uh, you know, there's an upside and a downside to everything generally. Uh, reposition switch, no push pull pots. Uh, looks like a rosewood fingerboard, but. Uh, I'm not certain. Yeah. I was going to say your guess is as good as mine. Well, even if they had said it, uh, I would have said it. Yes, it was a rosewood fingerboard, but I don't recall. Yeah. I, I bought this guitar probably about six or eight weeks ago, and I have forgotten everything I knew about it except the price, which was $129. However, today they're 119 Get them while they're hot, folks. Get them while they're hot. Uh, and they come in several colors. Okay. Um, well, I know this is not exactly a bright red, but it is slightly uh, lighter, I think, than, than uh, either a Gibson or an Epiphone SG would be, but the finish. Um, but still, you know, you look up on stage and see somebody with this around their neck, you're going to think, they've got an SG. And uh, in a way, you would be right. In a way, you wouldn't. But uh, there you have it. The Leo James SG copy. $129 when Leo bought it. Now $119. Um, I have no idea how it's going to play or anything. So... Uh, uh, we'll reserve judgment on that, but we're going to tune it up and uh, check the pickups, you know, do all the things we normally do, and I'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, folks, we're back with this Leo James uh, SG copy in uh, something resembling the uh, normal SG red that uh, Gibson and Epiphone have. Um, it might, Leo mentioned that it's got a, uh, got a, Transparent finish. It's a it's a very nice looking guitar, um, so it might be a, actually a little shinier than the Gibson or the Epiphone because I think their finishes are more just uh, you know paint. Uh, anyway, we're going to listen to the pickups. Everything is wide open as normal. Oh, one before I forget though, uh, Gunter, here's uh, here's your Bortzi and E for you. Not bad for a solid body. Um, it it died out, you know, lo uh, earlier than a hollow body would, but it uh, it stayed loud almost the entire time until it did die out. So, uh, for those of you who are interested, you can take that as you as you will. Right, and uh, Dan, before you get started with the pickups, I want to explain to our viewers what uh, happened last time with the lights. The ceiling light above me and the table lamp and the stage lights that we use in here are all LED lights that are controllable by <coughs> Alexa and I can control the color of them and stuff like that. Well the one in the ceiling had lost con connectivity to Wi-Fi and when it retries to connect it flashes and uh, it never did work out so we had to replace the bulb I bought an 8-pack so that may happen in some future videos with some of these other lights but uh, we've got the problem handled and thank you for your patience okay Dan back to you oh you just reminded me of something that's a joke I saw earlier okay. today this guy driving an 18-wheeler down the road 
and uh, he blows a tire. And so he very carefully pulls off to the shoulder of the road and he, he goes in the back, you know, behind the seat, and he gets out these two cardboard cutouts of a gentleman wearing a, a trench coats but nothing else except shoes. They're photographs, but they're, you know, and they're life size. And he puts one on the left side of the truck and one on the right side of the truck, pointing at the, at the uh, oncoming traffic. And uh, people go in the other direction or honking. And you know. so after a little while, a state trooper pulls up, not happy. He says, uh, he says, what the hell do you think you're doing? I mean, you, you know, these are obscene. You should, you said, why, why do you have them out there? He said, well, they're my emergency flashes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, there you go. A bonus joke for today. Uh, I was just wondering, why would he do that to a tire? <laughs> uh, a tire? What was he? No, they weren't wearing much. So no, no, they didn't have much attire. Why would he blow? Why would he blow a tire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I was I was concerned for the tire. That's assault. Sexual assault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's not a reach at all, ladies and gentlemen. Not not at all. No. Like uh, not in the Ryan family, it ain't. Somebody uh, asked Marilyn Monroe if she liked. <laughs> Matzo ball soup, and she said, "Yes, but I feel sorry for the poor matzo." <laughs> okay, so right. now if we've had enough uh, joviality, oh no, <laughs> we're just going to save some for the later in yeah, the video. Okay, we've had enough for this moment. Uh, so uh, we're going to go through the pickups, and here is the neck pickup. Uh, let's see. <laughs> between the bridge pickup and uh, either of the other two settings uh, but the tone tone differences is audible on all three of them so and um, they they sound pretty good they uh, you know it, unless I had a Gibson or an Epiphone SG right here I really wouldn't be able to tell you uh, how much difference they they might show from from those guitars, but uh, they're in the ballpark, that's for sure. Um, you know, uh, I say this a lot of times. It's a, you know these are just pretty simple guitars. You know, uh, three settings, two pickups. <clears throat> Some of them only have one tone and one volume, so. This this is nice in that you can more dial in your your sound. 
especially if you're using both pickups at once because um, you can set the tone and volume and the, the balance between them pretty pretty easily so uh, there you have it we're going to uh, stop one more time and pick something to play for you and we'll be right back hey folks Dan Ryan today we're looking at this Leo James uh, SG copy We've been through the appearance, we've been through the pickups, all of our normal stuff. And now we're going to play a little something for you. And today it's from a guitar uh, backing track uh, a provider that we've never used before called Guitar Maps Backing Track. And it's the smooth, sexy groove backing track in uh, A minor. So here we go. Ah, here we go.
uh, plays pretty nice. Nice uh, low, flat action. Had a tendency uh, uh, to die out a little bit up on the upper ranges. Uh, that might just be strings, or although the strings feel okay, but um, uh, you know, for $129, uh, you could do a lot worse. That's kind of one of our continual refrains around here, but uh, and 119 now. Yeah. You know, and for 119, you can go get yourself a taco plate, and still have this guitar. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, there you have it. It's the uh, Leo James SG copy. Uh, I'm Dan Ryan. Leo Ryan's behind the camera. Uh, Patrick Ryan is laying on the couch, uh, chilling. I approve of this message. Yeah, and uh, we're. Uh, we're so delighted. Uh, anyway, we uh, hope that you will like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be reminded of our future videos. Oh, one thing before I go. I want to thank, uh, I did this last time, but uh, anyway, thanks everybody for your good wishes for me and, and my wife Rose. Uh, we, we really do appreciate that. And... Uh, uh, don't you know? Don't want to make a big deal out of it, but it is a big deal that so many people have uh, have uh, you know reached out to uh, let us know that they're thinking about us, and uh, so once again I do appreciate it, and Rose appreciates it, appreciates it. So uh, Dan Ryan, Leo Ryan, like, subscribe, bell, and uh, that's it for today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.